morning. So it's 79 out and it's about 8.30 in the morning on Monday morning. And uh, it's not gonna get any cooler than that today. So today I'm going to start prepping for where we'll put sweet potatoes in in a week or two after this, the soil has rested. We got all the, the stuff, unneeded stuff in there, out of there like marigolds and weeds and such. Then we'll go ahead and we'll fertilize and water it really good and hopefully the uh, soil will be all set for us to put some sweet potatoes in for a summer crop. So there are eight marigold plants in here that are all looking pretty healthy, different stages of development as far as blooming and not blooming. Um, one of the great things about marigolds as far as deterring pets, pests um, is uh, they are great pollinators and they'll call in your pollinators which will help all your other plants grow healthy. So I'm going to pull these out, I'm going to put them in pots today, probably put them down around where I have the other ones around the lower garden and uh, keep them watered. I think I may put them on Facebook Marketplace, see if anybody's interested in having already matured um, marigold plants. And if not, they'll just be all around our garden for the rest of the season. And my gosh, I will have plenty uh, seeds to seed save for next year. Um, as far as marigolds go, every single one of these marigold plants were planted from seeds that I seed saved from last year's plants that I had bought a pack of the seeds for. So um, I'm guessing, seeing how I have a salsa jar full of seeds from last year still, I'll never have to buy marigold seeds again which is kind of neat. Rick has today off. He has a procedure tomorrow. So but he's got today off because of um, the work schedule. It's changed to 10 hour days to help everybody try to save money on gas. And so he's out here working on getting this row ready for a new row of potatoes. These potatoes that he planted I don't know how long ago you planted them. I've lost track. I have it's to look it up. It's been probably four weeks now, anyway, about a month. About a month. Is that the is that the harvesting time? I'd have to look that up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I usually wait till they start to wilt and turn brown, yellow, and they're ready. We got that on some of them, but that could be bugs. But wait, what kind of potatoes are we putting in here? Do you know? Uh, they're leftovers from last year. So that the they're, they're to have that have chitted so the smaller ones that were sprouting last year we just left out in the garage and uh, that's will be our seed potatoes that's what they call them right huh yep seed potatoes for this year which is pretty cool not having to buy anything at a garden store or garden supply to get more um, that's what he's doing so far today um, I'm out here in the garden going to do a little bit of potato planting um, we already put some in this year this will be the second batch um, first batch doing great we never really spent any money on seed potatoes these are all they were planted last year from organic potatoes that we bought at the at the grocery store that they started the sprouting chitting um, and we planted them last year. We did pretty well. Uh, we had one crop that uh, we got a lot of rain and it just kind of about half of it rotted, but most of it did really well. Um, and then these are all leftover potatoes from last year. Now, this I'll just show you the basket I have here. There's roughly 120 seed potatoes in there, and they don't look like much, but this is going to be a before and after video just the after part's going to take a little while so there's roughly a hundred seed potatoes in here and you know they they don't look like much you know some of them and when i say a hundred i'm being generous some of them are tiny but that right there will grow into a bunch of potatoes what i did was these are the ones that i already planted about a little over a month ago and I just I tilled up a spot right here beside it 
getting ready to throw them in there. <coughs> um, just throw them in that little trench there, cover them over in uh, water, and the rest just happens. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, my update for today. So Rick has tilled what he had loosened earlier today, and he is now planting the potatoes. Um, the kind of potatoes that they are would be whatever we did not, what we planted last year. So there might be some red skin, there might be some regular skin. Did, did we have any Yukon gold? I, I don't know. It's, you know, it's whatever we bought that just we didn't use and they started to sprout, so I stuck them in the ground. Uh, and so, and the, so these potatoes are from, from that, from like what we bought from the store. And right. Then, we, uh, well, we bought from the store and then planted and right. leftovers from right that we didn't use up. So, you know, if we try and do things right that we've learned, and all the other conditions are good, with you know, just you can do what you can do, and, and things can still go horribly wrong. You can plant crops and they might not grow, but. Um, if, if you keep doing this, then you, you shouldn't have to buy potatoes if you if you can cure them properly and keep what you're eating through the year. Again, this would be um, I had mentioned in one of the last videos that um, the goal for the broccoli was 52 pounds. That's based on being able to have a, a pound once a week for dinner. Um, that's going to be impossible to get to with the amount of space we have while we're trying to grow other things as well. But if you could get a year's worth of potatoes, I don't know what that looks like. Hmm. Um, it's a lot of potatoes. <laughs> it's a lot of potatoes. Um, but if you can get enough to, to feed your family and others and save throughout the year, we don't know what those shelves are going to look like. And these, if you, if you wanted to, you could cut these where there's and make basically two three or four sprouts on here. You could cut that up and put more in I'm just, we have plenty so I'm, I'm just not doing that I'm just throwing them in the ground right it's hot out here so the, the deal I'm in today a, I'm in the shade now <laughs> <laughs> the deal today was just try to get some things done uh, I'm heading in uh, take a shower and get ready to go see Top Gun Maverick I haven't been in a movie theater in three years I'm strangely excited about this potatoes are planted Drip tape is installed. And, uh, see, there ain't a lot of water that comes out of it, but it just, you know, look at here. It doesn't seem like much, but that's all it takes when you're just watering right next to the ground. It's just a steady drip coming off it. It's about every foot that it comes off, but what was kind of neat was you know we had a at least a hundred year old property here there was we don't know a lot of history on it but uh there was a house here before our house and our house is 102 years old um but anyway i was walking down the row and i found this that i just tilled up um it's actually it's kind of seized up right now but it's a it's a case knife the bone handle uh, I've never seen one like it before but I'm gonna get it cleaned up and see if I can get it opened up and working it's kind of kind of neat anyway see ya all the marigolds are out of this row now so I'm gonna probably work out here for about half an hour 45 minutes um, and just try and get all the weeds out so we can get the soil prepped. Um, and then forget about it for a couple weeks. And also I think I need to start training these butternut squash, the vines. I'm not sure how long they get. I don't think they get as long as like pumpkins. But train them to go down the hill instead of into going this way. And then into our row because it's nice actually to be able to walk down this row. This row a couple weeks ago the weeds were as high as those cauliflower leaves and uh, it was a little scary thinking about snakes and such but the skin's, skin, <laughs> sun's pretty high and uh, it's getting warmer and warmer so I'm going to have to get started work on it for a little bit now and maybe finish it up tonight
They don't want to wait for me to dump it out of the basket. So this is one of the things that's great. It's like another thing that gets weeds. Weeding to me is kind of therapeutic. I don't know why, except for when it gets this stupid hot. Now it's just, I just feel like I can't, can't get enough water into me. <clears throat> but the, uh, the chickens really enjoy it. And, and um, usually one row will get me one to two baskets full of wheat to bring it down and spread it out. You guys gonna let me spread it out? I'll spread it out and then, and then I'll dump some in the compost pile. And they will enjoy that. When that compost pile gets higher, we'll remove the wire from it and uh, let them just scratch through everything. It will have attracted some bugs, which they love. Just more protein. So Rick and I took a couple hours off and went to uh, go see Top Gun. If you're a fan of the Top Gun first movie, 40 years ago or whatever, be a fan of this movie. It was a good movie. You should go see it. Um, I'm glad I went to see it in the theater. First time I've been in a theater in about three years. So it was it was a pretty cool experience. Um, it is still stupid hot out here, but I really want to finish that row behind me uh, up to the fence to try and get that all cleared just so I can check it off my to-do list. It's um, gonna be a busy week again and all the other weeds and the rest of the rows are all going to continue to grow. So I'm just going to try and get knock this out tonight, get it done so I can check it off my list. This space is done now and all it's is waiting for is some uh, rototillin, some composting, some more rototillin, spraying it down every night so that the compost and the, any um, manure that we have in it will seep in and help to break up some of that clay. So I get to check that off my list. That's exciting. The chickens have a basket of weeds coming down to them and they're pretty excited about that. They will, as soon as they see me start coming down with the basket, they will probably start running towards the side of the cage. We've <laughs> got some swingers up there tonight. They really enjoy those swings. Rick did a good job with them. They really like them. Oh, you guys, you guys gonna start gathering around? See, I thought I was going to have to call them if I wanted their attention. We were taught to go cheep, 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 cheep when you had food. Turns out it's not necessary. They see you coming down the hill with the basket, and there they are. Feasting once again. You'd think we didn't feed them. It's pretty great that we get to supplement with, with a lot more than just, like a lot of people are like, oh, mow your lawn and, and throw that in. That helps supplement. Well, we certainly have enough lawn to be able to do that but we have so much more and there's 31 birds so and the, a lot of the stuff I'm giving them is super good for them um, like the broccoli and radish and beet leaves yeah, I'm actually seeing root in here that I need to I can't remember what it's called I must have, I think it was the last thing I fucked out of the ground and they aren't supposed to have it. I can't remember what it is. This, whatever this is, is dangerous for them. So I'll get that out. Make sure I didn't miss any other ones. Nope. I don't want to be giving my chicks bad stuff. Well, it's time to call it a day. It's about two hours and 15 minutes earlier than I usually do. Usually don't go in until the street light's on. I think I'm gonna go in and see if Rick wants to watch one of the new shows we started watching called Joe Pickett. It's pretty good. Um, we started this YouTube channel nine days ago and we have nine subscribers. Woohoo! Um, if you like these videos, uh, subscribe to the channel um, and like the video and hit the little bell that shows on your screen and that will notify you when you get um, a new video to watch. Um, thank you for joining us on our journey of homesteading. We're Definitely newbies, definitely have a lot to learn, definitely have learned a lot and hoping that we can help other people learn from our mistakes and from our successes. Um, it's been a lot of fun. This is a lot different lifestyle than what we were living three years ago. And uh, and I like it. It's a, it's like a pre-retirement. I mean, I'm not retired, you know, but I'm not punching a clock either, so that's cool. 
And uh, anyway, that's all I have for you. Be a blessing and be blessed. Good night.